Leaders from St. Louis City, St. Louis County, and St. Charles and Franklin counties announced restrictions on restaurants today. Starting at 12.01 a.m. on Friday, restaurants and bars will transition to delivery and to go sales only. Five on your side, Sarah Maki is live in the Grove with more on the change. Yeah, Mike, the front door here at Layla on Manchester Ave, it really says it all. You take a look, the lights are on, but the dining room is closed. But just below here, another sign, we deliver with Postmates. This is going to be a new reality for so many restaurants all around our region. That's because leaders today, of course, announced that they're going to be making some changes around here. Workers here, they watched the press conference live when those new restrictions were announced. And now they know that these are going to be some of their last days with dine-in customers, but they say they expected this change any day. So they're already adapting, closing in the middle of the day for a deep clean and now stocking up on to-go containers. But the biggest change of all, of course, is the drop in sales. They say that they saw business drop by 50% this weekend. Now they're facing layoffs for the majority of their front of house staff. And these restaurant workers aren't alone. Casinos close at midnight, big events are canceled. There are more than 88,000 people in the hospitality industry across our region and the largest part hardest part rather is that they don't know when all of this is going to come to an end. We don't know. Yeah, we don't know. I guess it could be a few weeks. Most of the schools are planning on being closed through the at least the end of the month, but uh, we're looking at, you know, it could potentially last through the summer. I hope it doesn't last that long. But now, more than ever, we need to rely on one another and be with one another. This whole social distancing word is a necessary word but we have a lot of people depending on us. So they're doing this because they want people to keep their physical distance from each other, but you heard the mayor talking about supporting one another as well. They say that they're working with the Restaurant Association to try and get the word out about all of this to local business owners. They're also talking to the St. Louis Development Corporation to try and find ways to soften the blow for all of the restaurant owners and their employees during this unprecedented and challenging time. Live in St. Louis, Sarah Maki, five on your side.